It's, it's time. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> what? Oh, that, that was really uneventful. Hello everyone, my name is Silent Cree and welcome to my channel. Yes, that's right, I'm back. Except what? I have a new face? A new name? Oh my gosh, are you even the same person? Yes, I am. I'm him from the future. And I've come to tell you guys... I don't know what I've come to tell you, I've forgotten. It was a long trip and, uh, you know, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But anyways, uh, welcome to Feed the Beast Horizons Daybreaker. I am on the Lost Lands Horizon server, and uh, I'm going to be playing here with my main man, Ignis Wolf. He just lives over there. Well, actually, he's li moved in with me right now, but uh, we're going to be working together on some mods. To get on some mods, we're going to be chatting up. You guys are going to see us. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Anyways, before I get ahead of myself, let me give you guys a tour of the place. So, here is my house. Yeah, it's not, re not really much. That's not mine. <laughs> It's not really much, this is just inside of a mountain. It's pretty much my starter home. I haven't really done much on the server yet. I've pretty much oh, put myself in the hover mode. I've created an iron farm over there. I've started on a few mods. Got my house all set up. And yeah, that's, that's really it. So let's take myself off hover mode. Ah, you can't do jack. Die, zombies, I'm not afraid of you. Die. Get out of my water pool! Back off! Get! 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 Oh, okay. Anyways, automatic doors! I like these. Anyways, so up here we have our basic mechanic stuff. Nothing special, just enough to make the jetpack and the, the boots. Back here we have our power source, which is an uh, ender, uh, ender tank hooked up to a lava generator. Which. It doesn't provide a whole ton of RF, but it provides enough. Anyways, the other anger tank is in the end. I'll show you guys that later. Um, we have our main furnace area, which I barely use. But we do have a boiler over here, which I do use quite often for food. Because steamed food is takes uh, uses a lot more hunger than just regular cooked food. I don't know why, but I love it. Um, got our enchantment area over here. And now we're actually getting into the cool stuff here. Dun 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 This is our blood magic room Um, I haven't done much We only have a, a tier 2 altar But I'm going to be working on this mainly During the series This going to be tons of fun You guys are going to help me out with this Because I have no clue what I'm doing But that's okay That's okay This room sadly isn't big enough So we're going to have to expand eventually what I did was, I'm like, okay, from what I remember, Blood Magic only has a 19 by 19 area for the tier 5. Then I forgot. Oh, wait, they added a tier 6. We don't have enough room. Damn it. So, we gotta, we gotta expand. But that's okay. We'll do that later once we get there. Because I don't really want to take this all down right now and then just put it back up. And it's like, so much work, you know? Anyways, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So let's continue over here. This is the Essential Craft 3 area. It's not really much right now. I, I'm i not doing this. Wolf is taking care of all this stuff. So uh, I'll leave him to that because I don't understand any of it. Like, any of it. It's so confusing. Anyways. Down here we have our EE3 or equivalent, equivalent Exchange 3, which is a really cool mod. What it does is it gives every item a value and that value you can use to exchange for other stuff the same value or a lesser value. So for example, emeralds have a value of 8,192 as you see right there per item, or the entire stack I'm hovering over has 49,152, which is really cool. So I can put this, oh no, I only want one. Give me one, give me one, there we go. So I put one of these in here and see what things glitching out. And this is the stuff that I can trade for. Of course, in order to get unlock these traits, I have to first put it into this book over here. 
and well, yeah, that's really it. So let's see, what do I don't I have? I don't have rotten flesh in there. Let's put rotten flesh in there, and you have this cool effect in the book. And it slowly goes in, it absorbs the knowledge, and poof, that disappears. And then when I go in here and look up rotten flesh, rot, whoops, that's not how you spell, rotten flesh, there it is. And I can exchange for tons and tons of rotten flesh, raw. I'm like, oh crap, now I have so much rotten flesh and I didn't really want it in the first place, so what am I going to do with rotten flesh? Let's throw it back in here, and we can exchange it for something else. So I can get some obsidian if I wanted. OB for obsidian, boom, I now have tons of obsidian. Or maybe I want something different. Maybe I want diamonds. Since it was only one emerald, and one emerald and the diamond are the same, I should only be able to get one diamond, and then it disappears off the list, and I'm no longer able to trade for it. But since I do have leftover stuff, because I had stuff, I had uh, energy leftover from before, I can still trade. Like, I can get these arrow bundles for my crossbow. Which I actually need, so I will keep those. Um, but yeah, that's how EE works. Ugh, these zombies, I gotta kill them. I'm sorry. Uh, come on. I need something here to just kill the zombies. Cause they're all going towards my villager down there. Get! Get! Get going! Get out! Get out! Go! Okay. There we go. Now we can head down here. Here's the villager. This villager is also part of the E3 setup because you can trade for emeralds and he's all currently all out, but that's okay. I'll just have to trade him some wheat back here and refills, retrade him chicken. He gives us emeralds. That's somewhat circumventing the system and get and getting like 16 chicken being worth a diamond, which is really awesome. It's super helpful. There's more zombies here already. That's it. I'm, I'm muting them. Uh, sounds. Bring that down. Uh, hostile creatures, 25%. There we go. Okay, so he's very important. Very, very important. He's pretty much our oops button. If we ever, like, trade too much, like, ah, oh, crap. And we don't have enough to even get one diamond. <laughs> Just trade for your raw chicken. Boom. Deal with the farmer. Now, how the values work is it's... Uh, the values is calculated based off of how much work you need to get the item. For example, uh... I believe wood, no, wood isn't one, no, yeah, so do you. Okay, so the, there are four things that have a value of one. Um, it is stone, water, uh, lava, and dirt. I believe, I believe it's lava, yeah, lava and dirt. So essentially if you, you need dirt, water, and a sapling in order to make wood. So it takes all the values of those, I don't know how it gets the sapling value, it takes all the values of those and combines it to get you 32, which then gives you the oak wood. So it's it's not really cheating much. Like if I were to put in, it's kind of like here, I'll do this for example. Uh, okay, em you gotta remember that emeralds are the same value as, as um, what should I call it? As diamonds. So if I do this, oh, but I don't have a brand new one. I'm gonna have to do that first. Okay. I do bear with me for a second. Okay. So now I need to put the, that into here. Do the cool book effect. Do, 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 do. Come on. Okay. So I have 14, so I'll just get that down to zero so you can see the energy value. So now you put in two six and three diamonds, and you can exchange for a diamond pickaxe. But as you see, these are the, the materials required to have a diamond pickaxe. So together, the, the value is 24,584. And the value of a diamond pickaxe is also 24,584. So you're not really upgrading, you're not really downgrading. It's literally equivalent exchange. Three. That's how it works. And it's really awesome. This is also part of... Ignore that. That's mobs that are spawning in, in the world. Not actual players. I'm not playing with Defox 83. I wish I was. But anyways. Um, 
This is a co cobble compressor. Get the cobble in here from the generator back there, which then compresses it in the auto packager to go to compress cobblestone all the way up to octopal compress cobblestone, which we don't have yet because that takes about 27 days to make one. <laughs> So yeah, right now we're over here at the quintuple compressed cobblestone, um, which has the uh, uh, the value you can see right there. It's one for every cobblestone. So it essentially, it's like another uh oh button. Like, oops, we did that. Just take one of these, throw it into EE3, grab some diamonds. We're all set. It's fine, and it's not really cheating either because that's how it works. Anyways, over here we have RF tool stuff. We ha I haven't really gotten into this. I've just gotten to the Dimlet Researcher, and I haven't been able to find any Dimlets besides the ones that I used to craft this, so we're not really going anywhere with this. But, right now, I am not focused on any of this stuff. We are going to focus on um, Blood Magic right now. So let's head into here and figure out what to do next, because I have to look that up. I should maybe make one of those so I can actually sacrifice myself as well. I could do that. It would let us have double. Uh, 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 no. No. <laughs> run, Forrest, run. Don't come close to me. Don't come close to me. I'm May the power of Christ come I'm going to do it. Run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Does it actually work if they were PvP? You know, actually I don't sacrifice know. me. I haven't tested it yet. It's worth a shot. Oh, I see what you did. The module storage. It looks good. Yeah, I, I guess it's it my jetpack, isn't it? It is. Way better. Except we maybe we should like remove some of like the double books, like we have two books of delving into his darkness. Yeah. So, like that we don't really need. I just kind of dumped everything in there, I didn't bother sorting it yet. So much mithril. Oh, precious storm, what is that? Oh, clockwork, you started doing clockwork? Uh, no, that charm you can get from mob drops, so... Oh, well, already have 500 in it. One hundred what? I have no idea. No clue. Uh, we'll save that for another day. <laughs> yeah. I gotta work on what's called essential craft. So I guess you've been working on blood magic. I just started actually. I've mainly been fixing up the base and doing other stuff. I just decided to okay, good thing. Grade. Yeah, sorry. A good thing you can do is blood magic base because most people have the mob spawner above the thing you, yeah, can, you can actually can that. do it under it but no you can actually do it under it because it looks like a pyramid mm -hmm. so there's parts under it and you can do it there well, at yeah. least i remember i did that uh, in uh, older versions because i had it outside and it looked really bad just like having a floating uh, square above it yeah i understand okay so let me continue on essential craft I think I was killing mobs, and then I got annoyed because I lost all the points from dying. <laughs> can I actually, can you test something for me? Yeah, of course. If I give you this soul stone, and you actually kill the mob, you kill it. Does it get filled? So, like, By the way, uh, just put a cursor on it, and you should see, like, the MRU. It should be zero right now. Kill a mob and see how much you get. Oh, oh. That was pretty good. <laughs> Just kill He's got Get back here. Die. So does it get filled? I do not see any. Like, put your cursor on above it. In your inventory. The owner's life network is pure and untouched. So I guess Give me show, let me see. Let me see. Ah, uh, cause that's... Ah, uh, yes it does. Doesn't it? Uh, you can actually bound, uh, I, I can make you one of those, so you can actually have your own uh, MRU, so you can help me fill my MRU storage. Okay. 
and you can actually imbue it with blood to be able to check how much blood you have in your network using oh, this as well. So I'm gonna actually make you one of those. It doesn't cost much, it just costs okay. one emerald. But yeah, do you want me to stop? Because right now I'm stuck with, uh, with what's called, with uh, essential craft. Yeah. I'm needing just to get a bunch of monsters. Uh, we can... So I may wait till we get a spawner running. I have the perfect area, follow me. Oh, you do you have a spawner? I have four spawners. Yeah, but it's not really a spawner where I can just kill them. It's like oh, I have to, to actually... We're, we're just oh, gonna... do you mean uh, all the zombies? Wait, what? I'm gonna see. <laughs> you haven't seen this part, this place yet. Oh, no, I haven't. I don't even know where you're going. Uh, I, I take fall damage. Uh, you will. Oh, yep, I do. Um, you got- How do I change modes? There's these free runner boots. Once you get these, you won't take any fall damage whatsoever. Oh, I'm gonna need some of those. Yeah, they're pretty cheap. But isn't there like hovering- Isn't there like hovering mode and stuff like that? Yeah, press F. Oh. Oh, thanks. No problem. It's like it's way slower. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Back this way. I know you are. Okay. I see it's a couple. Okay, careful, it's a very long drop. What? How? <laughs> Is this a randomly generated spawner? Yep. It's part of essential craft. If you look, there's there's one of the uh, the nodes above it that we need to find. So. Uh, oh, there's a node. Yep. Sure. You can't see it, but oh, if you yes. hover above it, you can see. Oh, this is amazing! Except I need the golden monocle to see it. Yeah. So, anyways, we, we if we set this up, we can make like, a massive mob spawner right here. No, we just need uh, something to move the spawners. Yeah, there should be a block mover. I have, I gotta look that up though. <laughs> There's something in uh, essential crack called a spawner collector. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know if it actually collects spawner or just destroys them and turns them into something. Because it could collect spawners as it destroying them and turns them into something. Mm. I don't know because supposedly, oh uh, no, it doesn't. I don't, uh, do I have it in my book? Do I already have the thing? Uh, spawner, spawner collector. Here we go. This item allows you to collect spawner. Just right click any spawner with this item and you will have it. However, it takes 500, 5,000 more you to grab one. And, and it's quite expensive too. Well, till I get an actual buttloads of MRU, I can't make it. Okay. And that's why I'm gonna come this later. <coughs> is there any kind of like something that spawns monsters? Um, the oh. RF tools has one. Soul shard. Soul shards, yes. I forgot we had those. Uh, but who is gonna sit there and kill a bunch of monsters? And it was this sentence that I regretted almost instantly. I'll do it. <laughs> Tune in next time to witness my terrible mistake. Oh gosh.